have aliens sent their own form of artificial intelligence astronauts to Earth? A professor from Harvard has theorized that our first alien contact might not be with biological entities, but with advanced forms of alien AI. Welcome back to This Week in AI. This week we're going to try something new and cover more news, but a lot quicker. If you prefer this new format, drop us a like and a comment letting us know. This week we're covering stories about Stephen King, AI Parkinson's diagnosis technology, conscious machines, and much more. As always, timestamps are in the description if you want to skip around. If you stick around to the end, you'll learn how to get access to our new free mini AI prompting course before anyone else. Let's dive straight in with Stephen King's take on AI. Stephen King supports AI learning from different source materials and even has expressed support for AI learning from his own literature. In a piece this week for The Atlantic, the writer mentioned he wouldn't restrict it. He believes that while AI has promise, it doesn't match human ingenuity. He compared AI-produced art to movie money, good initially but lacking depth. While some writers seek payment for AI referencing their content, King feels that preventing it is futile, arguing it can boost AI's artistic capabilities. How would you feel about your work being used to train AI models? Would you side with King or the many others who believe their work should be protected from AI training? Scientists at Moorfields Eye Hospital and University College London have harnessed the power of AI to predict the existence of Parkinson's disease. And not just predict, but predict an average of seven years before symptoms even show up. They are using AI to analyze the tiniest details of the retina, pinpointing early warning signs of the disease that would be impossible to determine without these advanced models. In a statement by Siegfried Wagner, a researcher at Moorfields, they said, while we are not yet ready to predict whether an individual will develop Parkinson's, we hope that this method could soon become a pre-screening tool for people at risk of disease. Early detection would give people time to make lifestyle changes that might delay the onset of Parkinson's. I wonder if this AI technology continues to advance. Could we be looking at a future where Parkinson's can be entirely prevented? A new rise in controversy from the right wing and Elon Musk arrived this week arguing that artificial intelligence is becoming too woke. Then we have Alex LaRusso, a right wing media activist, declaring that ChatGPT has started editorializing the truth. Musk agrees, stating his concern about AI becoming politically correct and even suggesting this could lead to it lying. His solution is to ensure his company's AI is maximally true. In fact, we actually did a video on XAI and Musk's Truth GPT. Click the card on the video to see it. His comments have sparked a right-wing outcry with warnings of a woke AI threat and accusations that Joe Biden's focus on equity in AI development is actually promoting this woke AI. Meanwhile, expert thinkers in the field, like Meredith Broussard, are pointing out that this sort of AI only remixes and regurgitates source material. Importantly, Broussard emphasizes that the real concern is how AI can amplify existing inequalities and harm marginalized groups. She highlighted how text-to-image models tend to exacerbate stereotypes while mortgage algorithms disproportionately disadvantage people of color. All this drama begs the big question. Will this media frenzy over woke AI pressure companies to aim for political neutrality? And if so, would this neutrality simply hide or exacerbate the inherent biases already present in the AI models? Harvard made headlines this week when Avi Loeb suggested that aliens may send AI astronauts to Earth rather than themselves. According to Loeb, aliens might be trying to communicate with us in a roundabout way, sending these AI astronauts instead of extraterrestrial flesh and blood. She went on to suggest that these alien machines might be messing with our own technology as they learn the extent of what we can do. As a guest on Nub TV's Paranormal segment, Loeb let on that the AI from aliens might be a tad more advanced than ours. One can't help but think that that might be obvious, of course. Professor Loeb also hinted that the mystery object Oumuamua spotted in 2017 might just be a poke from our extraterrestrial neighbors. Will alien AI only reveal itself? Arriving swiftly back on Earth, here's a fascinating glimpse into the future of training in the social care sector. A real-life trainer's digital representation, otherwise known as an avatar, is currently being trialled with the goal of training a whopping 20,000 new carers per year in multiple languages. This cutting-edge development is backed by health tech company Sarah, which sees this as a robust way to combat workforce deficits. 
The CEO of Sarah, Dr. Ben Marathapu, made an interesting point when he mentioned that these avatars could coach thousands of people a day at low or no cost, thereby creating a more sustainable service in an era of high demand. The pilot program up and running in London and the Southeast is set to have trained around 60 new carers by the end of August. But what does this mean for the future of our care and the humans currently delivering care? Sarah Craven, Sierra's operational lead in the pilot area, summed it up with the sentiment that she often wished she could be in two places at once and now that might finally be possible with the use of this avatar technology. It does beg the question though, can technology truly replace the human touch in such a sensitive sector? A report by Wells Fargo contained some fascinating insights about AI's potential influence on our economy. They suggest that over the next four years, spending on AI tech, both hardware and software, might increase by a whopping 50%. This spending surge could, by their calculations, boost US GDP growth by 0.5% to 1% per annum. A statement by Jay Bryson, the chief economist at Wells Fargo, and his colleagues suggests AI could actually boost their overall income and employment in some sectors by increasing productivity and creating entirely new types of jobs. But let's not forget there's a caution here too, if the AI boom mirrors the 90s tech bubble, high interest rates could be tagging along. So while job loss due to AI might not be as significant as feared, particularly for white collar roles, the question lingers, will businesses pass on the benefits of AI to their employees or expect even more from them for less? Continuing with Alan Turing, the man who created the aptly named Turing test. This test had been the dominant tool of researchers and philosophers for the better part of six decades when determining if a machine was conscious and no machines had ever passed the test. That is, until the rise of large language models has left researchers scrambling for a new test. A new report has the chief scientist at OpenAI even suggesting that cutting edge AI networks could be slightly conscious birthing the beginning of a new era in intelligence. When asked, how would we know if AI gains consciousness? A team of 19 experts from various fields came up with a checklist, a new standard to adhere to. Now the Turing test has been passed. This collection of markers, gathered from six neuroscience-based theories, could give us a good indication. Megan Peters, a neuroscientist and a co-author, points out the importance of identifying if a machine is conscious. As such, a label should change how we treat synthetic life. The authors also questioned the efforts being made by the firms building these AI systems to check for consciousness, a valid point echoed by the likes of Robert Long from the Center for AI Safety, who mentioned how the heads of leading labs are also pondering AI sentience and what it means for wider society. The authors say that the paper is far from a final take on how to assess AI systems for consciousness and that they want other researchers to help refine their methodology but it's already possible to apply the criteria to existing AI systems. The report evaluates, for example, large language models such as ChatGPT and finds that this type of system arguably has some of the indicators of consciousness associated with global workspace theory. Ultimately, however, the work does not suggest that any existing AI system is a strong candidate for consciousness, at least not yet. Thanks for watching today. If you made it to the end, we're about to launch a new newsletter. The weekly newsletter will cover all the new and exciting things happening in AI and highlight the latest tools and plugins we hear about. As a major bonus, those who sign up today before we launch will get a five-part mini AI chatbot prompting course. We've been using AI since before it came out and have learned through trial and error the most effective ways to prompt. By using our methods and secrets, you can become 32 times more effective at prompting and getting the result you want. Check out the link in the description. We're your number one source for all things AI. Subscribe to stay up to date and drop us a like and a comment if you liked the video. Thanks for watching.